What's the word? Welcome to Visuals for the Culture. It's your host, Nino, and we back at it. Thanks for pulling up again, man. So listen, we got, let's jump right into it. We got a four-year-old and an adult grazed by stray bullets on the Upper West Side. So according to the New York Post, a four-year-old child and an adult were grazed by bullets when they were apparently caught in the crossfire of an Upper West Side gunfight. The youngster was struck in the leg and the adult was hit on the foot when the gunfire erupted around 12.25 a.m. at West 94th Street and Amsterdam Avenue, according to law enforcement. Investigators believe the victims were grazed by bullets, then two men opened at each other. Opened at each other. I mean, when they opened fire on each other. Right. One of the shooters fled on foot and the other one left in a gray Toyota. No arrests have been made. Okay, another day in the city, uh, a four-year-old gets shot this time. So, okay, let me go down the line. We had the six-year-old, three-year-old, um, well, the six-year-old got slashed, another six-year-old got shot, three-year-old got shot, now we got a four-year-old with a bullet wound, you know what I'm saying? If I'm making this up, if I'm lying, I'm flying, bro. So, every other day, kids is getting shot, elderly people, feel me? So, I need $100. Who want to bet me in the next, you know what I mean? Not that I even want it to happen, but who want to bet me $100, feel me? That another kid probably gets shot within the next two weeks. Probably the next couple of days. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. But let's move on to the next story, man. Thank God none of them lost their life. <sighs> But Jesus, we got to put these damn hammers away, bro, gangster. So, in other unfortunate news, four men shot, one fatally in a clash outside of NYC Lounge. So, the New York Post state, four men were shot, one fatally during a fight that spilled out of a Bronx Lounge early Monday. The gunfire broke out around 2.45 a.m. during a clash near Karma Lounge. Not Karma Lounge, Karma Lounge, on East Burnside Avenue near Anthony Avenue in Mount Hope neighborhood. I mean, you know about Mount Hope, you know what's up over there. A 34-year-old man was shot in the torso and rushed to St. Barnabas Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Damn, rest in peace to him. His name was not immediately released, pending family notification. A 23-year-old man was also blasted. You hear how New York Post talk? He was blasted in the leg and taken to St. Barnabas. A, and a 37-year-old man was struck in the foot. Why didn't just say blasted too? And hospitalized at Lincoln Medical Center. Oh, they sent him to Lincoln going crazy. You know what I'm saying? At least his, his joint wasn't life-threatening. So he hired at Lincoln. As long as you ain't about to die, you Gucci and Lincoln, bro. Feel me? Both are listed in stable condition. A 32-year-old man later showed up at Montefiore Medical Center with a gunshot wound to the back. How he got so far? That's kind of deep. Well, he probably jumped in a cab or something. I don't know. And the investigators determined he was wounded during the same incident. He, too, was listed in stable condition. The exact nature of the dispute is unclear, and the police could not confirm who was the intended target of this early morning violence. No arrests have been made and police could not immediately confirm whether the shots were fired inside or outside Kama Lounge. Okay. I mean, that's why I don't really party like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially since after the pandemic, everybody got gripped up crazy and all that. Bro, liquor mixed with having a gun on you mixed with Females that niggas is probably trying to show off for all type of whatever. That just do not mix. That's like oil and water, and it just don't mix, bro. Feel me? Like, niggas is partying. Niggas got their hammers on them. We live in a Gotham City. Feel me? Only thing we don't got Batman. Feel me? But we live in Gotham City where it's just like everybody on edge. You heard? Like, everybody ready to shoot something, stab something, slice something. Like, what's the point of enjoying yourself if you got to be on edge? Like, low-key, we are low-key on some, like, 
get into like some Chicago shit. And don't get me wrong, bro. I'm born in the, I'm born in the early '90s. I'm born 1990s. I'm 33, bro. Feel me? Like I seen this type of shit prior to like cameras in New York. You know, I seen a lot of crime growing up in the Bronx, bro. Like I seen it, crackheads roaming the street, all that. You know, like zombies in the daytime. It wasn't like how now. Like, you know, crackheads these days is kind of calm or whatever, you feel me? But I say that to say, like, I'm used to it, you feel me? But I feel like the world done moved on up in terms of, like, you know, like, how people live in. Like, we got, you know, internet, you know, you got ways to make money and stuff like that. And it just seemed like everybody mentally going backwards, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But... It shit bugged out. Rest in peace to the man that lost his life. To the other three, thank God y'all safe. And y'all better think twice about how y'all partying, man. Y'all need to get up out there before. When the shit start getting sticky, breeze. Like, simple. Like, feel me? So, in other news, out in Harlem, according to Fox 5, on Sunday morning, an altercation out the side of a Harlem shelter for migrants resulted in two individuals being sent to the hospital. According to witnesses, a group of men were standing outside the shelter located at 31 Central Park North and started throwing objects at people walking by. Witnesses said that a 35-year-old man attempted to intervene and stop the men but was pushed through the glass door of a nearby apartment building. A 41-year-old man also tried to intervene who was also assaulted by the original group. A 21-year-old male from, I can't even pronounce this right, Mar Maritania says the conditions inside a Bushwick shelter are terrible, with just one working bathroom. The NYPD says both victims were treated for their injuries at a nearby hospital. The altercation has left long-term residents in the neighborhood concerned, citing a noticeable shift in the area's safety. Quote, unquote, somebody said, I was actually attacked in the train down in the station. Safety is not the words for New York now. It's not safe anymore. And it can happen anywhere in this city, one woman said. The fight began outside the former Lincoln Correctional Facility, which is being used as a temporary shelter for asylum seekers and newly arrived migrants. While some residents expressed that this particular shelter hasn't caused significant concerns, they pointed to another nearby homeless shelter on Lenox Avenue as a potential source of safety issues. There's a lot of people hanging out at the homeless shelter now for the immigrants, and they don't seem to be causing a problem, but they are in great need. But the main shelter on Lenox Ave is the one we concerned about for our safety, one neighbor said. Police say they arrested one man from the group for disorderly conduct, and the investigation is still ongoing. I mean, shit. It's a bunch of Venezuelan immigrants. Let's just be frank. You feel me? Let's just keep it a band. And I seen them, like, let's say, like, a year ago. Feel me? Before I start doing this. I was outside. Feel me? And I was seeing them pulling up in the boatloads. You heard? They shut down the hotels around the area. Even in the Bronx. I heard um a channel say that. They only doing it in the city. Negative. They came all the way to the Bronx and they took all the little tellies that niggas got and turned them shits into shelters. These niggas is out here getting crazy. You feel me? Niggas be trying to holler at they bitches and all that. And all they be mad and all that trying to sell niggas bullshit and all that. You feel me? And now they, I'm, I, I gave it like three years. They going to start ramping up. You feel me? When you get a bunch of immigrants in the country illegally at that Feel me? Just coming here and y'all taking up everything. Mind you, we got a you already got a bunch of broke niggas and bum niggas in the city, but you accepting a bunch of new motherfuckers from somewhere else, and then they gonna start crime with niggas that's already here. Like, bro, this shit about to get out of control. Respectfully, like, like you feel me? Like, if you got eyes, if you got a person who could see, if you got a mind that could see into the future just a little bit, you could see what's gonna happen, bro. Like, you feel me? Like. Everybody need a place to stay, I get you, but this is not, I don't accept, I don't, like, respect illegal shit, you feel me? Especially by the boatload. Like, if you're going to come in the country 
And it's, you know, one, two, three, y'all, boom, all right, cool. Y'all mean y'all snuck in the spot, y'all trying to do what y'all got to do. All right, cool. These niggas is coming in by the hundos. Niggas is already, like, in, in poverty and shit, nigga. Money ain't money in, like, how it used to money, you heard? So, we already got people struggling, and then y'all bringing these niggas, and then these niggas, instead of them chilling and, like, you know, just joining... You know what I mean? Touching elbows and get right together. These niggas are starting problems. What you throwing shit at niggas for? Then if we beat these niggas up, they're going to make it a whole nother problem and all that. But whatever, man. Let's move to the next joint. So, in other news in the, in the more northern part of the Bronx, in East Chester, a woman, 60 years old, dragged from her car, assaulted, and got her car stolen. Okay, <laughs> NYPD's asking for the help identifying the person in this video who saw in connection with an assault and an auto theft that occurred in Eastchester. Police said that on Monday, July 24th at around 1.10 p.m. in the vicinity of Reed Mill Lane and Steenwick Avenue, a man approached a 60-year-old female victim while she was seated in her vehicle. They said he approached to forcibly open the victim's car door dragged her out of her vehicle, punched, and kicked her. They added, the individual then entered the vehicle and drove away on Steinwick Avenue. The victim was taken to Montefiore Medical Center by EMS in stable condition. Police said the person is described as a male, has a light complexion, around 5 feet 8, slim build. They say he was last seen wearing a white headscarf, white t-shirt, dark colored pants and light colored sneakers they said the vehicle is a black 2015 toyota rav4 with new york registration 552279 anyone with info you already know what to do yeah i mean you ain't surprised you know never you know we just had another kid beat up i mean shot pardon me now we got old ladies getting punched up and taking out their V's and all that. Word. That's just, that's not heard, bro. That's not heard. Bro, that's not heard. Like, like, bro. I'm tired of these niggas, man. Respectfully, bro. I'm about to start going. I'm about to get tight, go outside and start punching some shit myself. But I'm about to start punching the niggas that's punching old ladies and all that. Like, the fuck? Like, bro, what? 60-year-old lady, bro. Bro, just... Just even an old lady falling on the floor, she'll break her fucking hip, bro. Like, so what, like, what you getting out of that? Like, what are you getting out of that, bro? You look like some dust head nigga, bro. This nigga probably on meth or something, like, gangster, bro. Like, like, I'm tired of this shit, bro. That shit is mad corny, bro. Because I swear, word two, bro, let the day niggas touch my grandmother, bro. It's up for niggas, you heard? Respectfully, bro. Like, why is nobody around these old ladies and shit, my nigga, why they getting hurt and assaulted and robbed and all that, bro? Like, word, like, what happened? Shit, getting me tight, bro. Like, gangster, bro. I got one more little short story, though, bro. Like, man, we got to do better, bro. Y'all see that nigga? Fuck that nigga up. Don't even tell the police, nigga. Just crank it on this nigga. Bing! Fuck that. So, last but not least... We got a Rikers Island CO slashed by an inmate. I mean, I was going to talk about this in my last joint. Well, not this actual. Somebody, a seventh person actually died in Rikers as well. And I was going to cover that, but I'm like, man, that should happen every day. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably get back to that later. But then, look, one of the COs end up getting cut. So the Fox News um, article states... A correction officer at New York City's notorious Rikers Island jail complex was slashed by an inmate on Tuesday. The jail guard was injured around 3 p.m. at the George R. Vierno Center in the city's Department of Correction. The officer was cut behind the air and taken to Elmhurst Hospital in stable condition. Acts of violence against our officers are non-compliant. Damn, pardon me, are by non-compliant individuals. It will not be tolerated. Our thoughts are with the injured officer, said DOC Commissioner Louis Molina. The person in custody responsible for the senseless act will be rearrested. The incident is under investigation. 
the alleged attack amid a troubling time for the massive jail complex. Two corrections officers and an assistant deputy warden have been suspended for procedural violations related to the death of an inmate. The jail guards and supervisor failed to make their rounds at a housing unit where Curtis Davis, 44, was found dead on Sunday. See? Just told you that. Like, I think he was on K2 or something like that. You know what I mean? Department of Corrections told New York Post David was being held on $30,000 bond following his June 1st arrest in Brooklyn on assault and weapons possession charges. His death was the seventh for inmates in custody at the jail this year. In 2022, at least 19 people died in Rikers. I mean, I think that nigga, I mean, the old dude that passed away, uh, respectfully with them charges and all that, at his age and all that, yeah, that nigga was up in there getting high, feel me, smoking a little paper plane and all that. If you know, you know. Nigga was rolling up the mint, the, the tea, feel me, with the motherfucking paper planes on it, and I'm saying he was getting daddy. And that nigga died, <laughs> respectfully. You feel what I'm saying? As far as the inmate slash, I mean, the uh, the CO slash and shit. I don't know. Some of the, a lot of them COs be from the hood, too, respectfully. If you know, you know. They be from the hood. They be on bullshit. They be siding with some inmates. You know what I mean? Like, you got COs that they be, oh, I know this nigga from the hood. And he blood. Yeah, I'm going to do whatever for this. Bringing these niggas all type of shit. So I ain't going to lie. When it come to them, them inmates slashes, I mean, them CO slashes, pardon me, inmates get cut all the time. But when it come to the CO joints, some of them I don't feel bad for them. Because y'all niggas be with the shit, too. Respectfully. But, man, that's Rikers for you. Rikers is synonymous with the city. You feel me? The shit, we, they came from the city and the city bugging out outside. So what you expect on the inside? Respectfully. But I'm going to holla at y'all on the next one. <laughs>